All right, December 29th, 2022, Tyler Hayes here, 2317, coming to you from West Ladysmith with another video lined up for you, this time on the CN's Baron Submain, Shia Milepost 129. We are going to have an inbound sand empty on the way that was behind the M344 that was led by the 2333. Another ES44 DC to lead it this time. Don't know who will be leading it on that, but we're going to find out in just a little bit. It'll make the westbound move to either... Warehouser or Poskin, but I got a feeling it may go Warehouser bound. I don't know if this is the DPU equipped ES44 DC or the late version. But we're going to find out in just a m couple of moments now. Is it just past mile post 129? Unless. Unless this might be a power move. I'm sure we're going to find out eventually. So let us check out our westbound move on the Baron Sun Main as we lean back and get him. Here we go. Yep, that's coming along the hood forward style. This is a power move. Let's see what we got. Seven seven two. Twenty two twenty four is here. Bring up the throttle down there. This is the DPU equipped ES44 DC. Seven seven two started the journey in Steelton, Minnesota. After it was brought down from another train from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. And it's staged in Pekegama. Now got authority on the Baron sub main for milepost 126, milepost 110.
losing my breath in front of me, but that's okay. Here's our rodeo decoed hopper again. WFRX. Look at the graffiti that is. <laughs> Glad to see that one back yet again. I've been getting that car for over the years. So I started real fitting on the CN. No DPU on the S772. Here's the last of it. NAHX32516 and a train device is going. Off it goes to Warehouser. And we'll do it for this video here at West Lady Smith. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. And I will see you down the main line. Tyler Hayes out.